Hi friends, in the last video we covered what is a runtime stack mechanism. Sir, now the next topic what we have to discuss, what is default exception handling in Java. Sir, if something goes wrong, if an exception rises, we are not having any exception handling code, by default what will happen? Sir, what is default exception handling in Java? This part I have to discuss. It's a very simple terminology, sir. Okay, but uh, acts as a base for the remaining topics. Sir. That's why take a bit very special care. Let me explain with a small example. Then you can get much clarity. Here, have a look once, sir. Observe, I have class test, class test, public static void main method, string array args public static void main string array axer main method is there this main method is calling assume that it is calling do stuff method main method is calling do stuff do stuff method sir now public static void do stuff public static void do stuff do stuff internally calls do more stuff assume internally calls do more stuff next uh, public static void do more stuff public static void do more stuff now here i'm taking system dot out dot print and hello hello like this i'm taking sir listen very carefully about this code sir hello hello like this i hope you people may already aware 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 this terminology sir sir do you know so in this how many threads are available i covered already in the last video runtime stack mechanism how many threads are available only one thread main thread for every thread jvm is going to create one runtime stack okay well this runtime stack created this runtime stack created right assume that now what is the first method call performed by main thread main method main method will be called by main thread that's why first uh, main first uh, main main sir main so main internally calls uh, do stuff are you getting main internally calls for do stuff now for that to do stuff also one entry added added next uh, sir inside do stuff now the control came to do stuff inside do stuff do more stuff do more stuff it is calling do more stuff sir Sir, do more stuff is another method call. For every method call, JVM will add one entry. That's why here, do more stuff. Do more stuff. Okay? Now the control, do more stuff. Now the control key. Sir, inside do more stuff, yes, for of hello. Hello. That's why output we are going to get. Hello. Hello is the output, sir. Output, once uh, hello completed, do more stuff completed. That's why do more stuff will be removed removed and uh, now the control go back to do stuff inside do stuff no other extra things i have to do do stuff also completed now remove the do stuff also remove the do stuff now the control go back to main method after do stuff call nothing is there no extra code is there that's why remove sir main method also completed remove the entry and uh, jvm will terminate this thread and the corresponding stack will be destroyed okay it is if everything goes fine no problem hello is the answer hello is the answer the program will be stopped but something goes wrong are you getting something goes wrong then what will happen that's what our cinema sir sir now observe carefully instead of sop of hello sop of hello i'm taking sop of 10 by 0 <laughs> are you getting SOP of 10 by 0 10 by 0 something goes wrong arithmetic exception came sir now what is the flow how the things are going to be happen because I never used any try or catch block ne by default what will happen this knowledge must be compulsory you should have okay well sir now here let me make my stack is empty sir in this how many threads are there just now I explained. How many threads are there? Only one thread. Only one thread. What is that? Main thread. Main thread, right? Now, main thread first calls main method. Main thread first calls main method. 
main method calls do stuff now the control will comes to do stuff now sir main thread calls do stuff do stuff now the other part of do stuff sir this do more stuff will be called that's why the control comes to do more stuff one entry added now observe very carefully sir do more stuff do more stuff now the control comes to do more stuff sir currently control is inside which method do more stuff have you observed top of the stack is do more stuff only now here something goes wrong observe very carefully sir here something goes wrong inside a method if an exception rise inside a method if an exception rise the method in which it is rise is the responsible to create exception object remember this one sir the method in which this exception rise that method is the responsible to create exception object of course with the help of jvm only exception object created in this object what information added name of the exception can you please spell out what is the name of the exception sir what is the name name of exception sir arithmetic exception arithmetic exception what is the description of the exception what is the description description of the exception description of the exception is division by zero is the description sir division by zero next uh, what is a uh, stack trace sir where the problem where the problem stack trace or location at which location the problem came at which location the problem came stack trace or location sir now in which location sir inside do more stuff do more stuff is called by do stuff do stuff is called by main have you observed location is do more stuff do more stuff which is called by do stuff which is called by main this is the complete stack trace remember with this information exception object will be created sir let me repeat up to this so inside the method if an exception rises the method in which it is rises is responsible to create exception object remember this is the responsible to create exception object okay well exception object created by the method with the help of jvm internally right sir immediately this exception object hand over to exception object hand over to jvm remember sir in our day to day also somewhere on the road if accident happened if accident happened something goes wrong accident happened then immediately we have to intimate uh, to the police ambulance like uh, here also if something goes wrong that complete with that complete information we have to create exception object hand over this object to jvm okay here who is the policeman who is the ambulance person is the jvm right now jvm will ask are in which method this problem came in which method this problem came sir who is asking jvm jvm do more stuff now immediately jvm will ask hey do more stuff in your area something goes wrong some exception rises do you have handling code do you have handling code like this jvm will ask do more stuff what the answer do more stuff is going to tell no 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 i'm not having any handling code if you are not having handling code immediately jvm is going to terminate this method abnormally remember this one immediately jvm will terminate this method abnormally without executing remaining code sir without executing remaining code jvm terminates this method abnormally and remove the corresponding entry from the stack observe because something goes wrong he is not in a position to handle then how i can keep this person man block this person or terminate this method okay like terminate this method and the remove the corresponding uh, entry from the stack okay do more stuff method terminated abnormally now what the jvm will do are do more stuff is a just a method someone called this method who is the caller of do more stuff respond who is the caller who calls do more stuff do more stuff called by do stuff immediately jvm will approach hey do stuff you are calling do more stuff you called do more stuff 
But inside do more stuff area, something goes wrong. Automatic exception rise. You are responsible to handle that exception. Where is the handling code? Where is the handling code? Can you please show? Like JVM will ask do stuff, sir. Then immediately, what the do stuff is going to tell? Boss, I'm not having any handling code. Are if you are not having any handling code, you can't continue immediately jvm will terminate the caller method also under removes the corresponding entry from the stack okay well now now sir immediately jvm will ask are you who is the color of do stuff who is the color of do stuff now the color of do stuff is main immediately jvm will ask main method hey main you are calling do stuff do stuff calls do more stuff do more stuff Raise some exception. Sir, do more stuff and do stuff both not handle. As a caller, you are responsible to handle very the handling code. Like JVM will ask a main, main method, right? Then immediately main method is going to tell, no, I'm not having any handling code. If you are not having handling code, then I will, I will terminate you also. I will terminate you also, like JVM is going to convey. Then simply main method is going to tell, Hare, I'm your friend, I'm your friend. Okay, how you can turn it? So what? You are not in a position to handle exception. That's why you can't continue your execution. Main method also terminated abnormally under removes the corresponding entry. Now, observe very interesting story. Who called the main method? Can you please confirm? Who is calling main method? Main method is called by JVM only. Now, who is the responsible to handle this one? Finally, JVM is the responsible to handle. To handle such type of things, uh, JVM will maintain one assistant. Uh, who is that assistant? Is default uh, exception handler. Who is that assistant, sir? Can you please spell out? Default uh, exception handler is the assistant, right? Now, immediately, JVM is going to hand our exception object to the default exception handler to handle. Default exception handler won't do anything. Just print the exception information to the console and terminate the program abnormally. Okay? In which format it is going to print, sir? Exception. Exception. In. Exception. In. Thread. Exception. In. Thread. Main. Main. In, in which thread the problem came? Exception in thread main. What is that exception, sir? Arithmetic exception. What is the description? Division by zero. So, exception in thread main. Name of the exception. Name of the exception. And the description of the exception. Next, uh, yet. Yet. What is the stack trace? What is the stack trace? Yet. Uh, test uh, dot. Do more stuff. Yet uh, test the dot do more stuff. This do more stuff is called by yet uh, test the dot do stuff. Yet uh, test the dot do stuff. Do stuff is called by do stuff is called by yet uh, test the dot main. Are you getting do stuff is called by main? So observe exception in thread main, arithmetic exception, name of the exception. Division by zero, description, and uh, this one is the uh, stack trace. In this format, exception information will be printed by the default exception handler and uh, terminates the program abnormally. Remember this one, sir. So, by default, if for exception something goes wrong, what will happen, sir? What is the default exception handling in Java? This is what, what you people should aware. So, just very briefly, I'm going to repeat so that you will get much clarity. Observe that, sir. Sir, here, main calls do stuff. Do stuff calls do more stuff. Inside do more stuff, arithmetic exception rises. So, inside the method, if an exception rises, the method in which it is rises is the responsible to create exception object by including the following information. Name of the exception, description of the exception, and the stack trace. With this information, so exception object will be created by do more stuff, of course with the help of JVM only. Sir, after creating this exception object, sir, it will be hand over to the JVM. Sir, now JVM will ask, do more stuff. You raised some problem. Do you have handling code or not? 
you if you are not having handling code i will terminate this method abnormally jvm will terminate this method abnormally removes the corresponding entry from the stack remember that sir now after terminating this method abnormally and removes the corresponding entry from the stack now jvm will identify who is the caller who is the caller method ah who is the caller method do stop again it will do the same process for the do stop hey do stop you are calling do more stop do more stuff raise up some issue raise up some mathematical exception you are responsible to handle that where is the handling code where is the handling code like uh, jvm is going to ask do stuff do stuff also sir so, jvm uh, unable to identify any handling code then jvm will terminate this do stuff abnormally removes the corresponding entry from the stack so this uh, process will be continued until main method if the main method also does not contain handling code jvm terminates main method and removes the corresponding entry from the stack sir now no one handle to handle such type of requirements jvm maintain default exception handler jvm hand over the object to the default exception handler default exception handler just to print the exception information in this format and terminates the program abnormally sir here how many methods are there three methods huh? all three methods are terminated abnormally abnormally right the program termination is abnormal termination it is a not graceful termination is it clear for all of you look at this code is it going to be happened or not observe carefully sir here have a look once same example same example i'm taking observe carefully here class test class test test ah uh, first method main main internally calls do stuff do stuff internally calls do more stuff do more stuff is a trying to print sop of 10 by 0 like this right now let me execute this code sir first compile yes happily the code compiles fine no problem at all now wait run time now wait run time have you observed exception in thread main java dot lang dot arithmetic exception division by 0 yet uh, test dot do more stuff yet uh, test dot do stuff like this sir if you observe if you if you observe that uh, if you observe sir here just observe this is name of the exception java dot lang dot arithmetic exception name this is description of the exception and the, this one is a stack trace okay remember this one this one itself is stack trace okay sir who is the responsible to print this total information are you getting who is the responsible to print this total information sir default exception handler can you please tell is it normal termination or abnormal termination how you respond is it normal termination or abnormal abnormal something goes wrong it's not normal termination abnormal termination never be recommended clear right so if something goes wrong by default how the things are going to be happen what is the default exception handling in java this is the story sir now sir make sure total how many methods are there three methods sir how many methods are terminated abnormally every method terminated abnormally that's why sir it is abnormal termination clear